It's coming into this building, first set of back-to-backs, and getting a lead and just doing everything necessary to make sure you held it all the way through. Well, that you know, tonight was a gratifying win for everybody in our organization because I thought it took the whole team. It wasn't uh, on one or two people's backs. It was everybody finding a way to contribute, following a game plan, um, sticking with it, and um, when we needed to manage the game fairly well because of circumstances, back-to-back, -back, injuries, that type of stuff, uh, we did a good job of it. Happy for Gus uh, getting his first win, and uh, he made some real big saves for us when we needed them, and the rest of the group pulled on the rope. Is it hard to know what to expect from a goalie who's you know, only played 10 minutes in the regular season, only faced uh, one shot? before this start? Um, it, it is and it isn't. Um, Gus is a mature goaltender. He's been in this role for, for many years. Um, he works hard in practice. The goaltending coach and, and other people work well with him. So he's ready to play and he's experienced it before. It's not like we have a, a young kid from junior that's coming up and, and getting nervous. He's, uh, he's been, been in it before and uh, he's played in this building before. So it was a good, good opportunity for him. Sorry, are the maybe the wins of the last two games more satisfying than when everybody's rolling and you're putting up seven goals to, to win when things are going against you and then the, kind of the odds are down a little bit? Well, I'll tell you what, you don't overanalyze wins. You take them any way you can. Um, again, it's it's gratifying because it was a team team thing, and we checked our way to a win tonight. We were pretty good defensively. And um, I like those nights where everybody finds a way to uh, block a shot, uh, take a hit, make a play. I thought this was uh, as close to that type of game as we've had for almost the whole year. When guys are nicked up, Todd, and you bring in guys from the minors or that haven't played in a bit, do you have to <coughs> simplify the game plan going in, or is it just status quo? Well, we, we try and uh, maintain our, our game plan, and uh, these players are in our organization. They understand how we want to play, and uh, they adapt to circumstances as well. You look at, uh, at Beck, he, he flew all day. This is 3-3 three and three for him. Uh, but again, it wasn't a young kid coming into the league. He was experienced. He knew uh, how to play. He's played in this building before, and um, he gave us a real good night. Kind of stepped up into a, a little more of an elevated role and seemed to, to handle it pretty well. He has. Uh, couldn't be happier with his play from day one on. Um, his speed, his tenacity, is willing to drive it to the net. Opens up a lot of space for the players that are playing around him or behind him. And... and um, you know, he's not afraid to throw pucks to the net and obviously he rewarded with a big goal tonight, so we're, we're happy for him. Did you have a time or a moment where you kind of looked around the building thinking it's you know, for a guy who has history in this building, the last regular season game anyways uh, for you and the Oilers? Actually, it's a good question. I did during the anthem. It was interesting because I've heard Karen Newman sing that anthem so many times and, you know, just standing on both benches. We played so many games here over the years uh, with San Jose and, and, of course, with Edmonton. Uh, so it was a little reminiscing during the anthem, and we'll miss this old building, but um, just like in Edmonton, they're going to a new beautiful one, and uh, the fans will appreciate it when they get over there. What's your favorite moment here? Um, the day after we won the cup, we came and took a picture with it probably, but uh, you know, the, the players, the, the, the coaches, the management, um, the years that I were, was here, and, and for many decades now, this has been Harvard of hockey. You come here and there's so many uh, great people around the organization, and I sense that in Edmonton as well, which is a real good sign for us. The Hall of Fame players that are around now and, and uh, sharing their experiences with the players goes a long way, and um, not every organization's uh, fortunate to have that. Uh, the two teams that play tonight do.